felt, fiber, and fabric, today on Beads, Baubles, and Jewels. Hi, I'm Katina Forte, your host for Beads, Baubles, and Jewels. We're back borrowing from the sewing basket. Today's feature material is felt and fiber. It's interesting how the softness of these materials complement the hard surface of materials like metal or glass. Our first artist, Candy Cooper, is a perfect example. She's going to show us how to make felt beads, but her other specialty is metal. Today's beading lesson with Katie is all about specialty findings. Get out that sewing basket again with Marlene McNutt. Wait until you see what you can make with buttons. Then Tammy features Peridot, a very hot fashion color today. Crystal Wick shows us her quick fiber necklace. Mindy Brooks has a fiber wrapping technique for a great dangle necklace. Let's join Candy. Hi, I'm here with artist Candy Cooper, and Candy's gonna show us how to make a really cool felt bead. Hi, Candy. Hi. How do we get started on this? Well, we're gonna start out with some wool roving, and this is actually what they used to spin yarn with, mm -hmm. but today we're gonna use it to make some felt beads. And you can buy it dyed in those fun colors, or yes. you have to dye yourself? You nope. buy it dyed. Okay. Well, you could dye it, or you could buy it colored. Okay. So you're just gonna start by tearing off a small piece of roving. Mm -hmm. And if you're making something where you want consistent size beads, you can weigh each piece mm -hmm. on a small scale. Now how heavy do you usually? I usually use one to two grams per bead. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start by tucking in the ends and rolling a really tight ball. This is the start of the ball. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna keep tucking in the sides as you go. Right. And rolling. Okay. And then once you get towards the end, about one inch to two inches mm -hmm. left, you can just roll straight forward and still tuck in the sides a little bit, but not as important as in the beginning. Yeah, just to make the weave nice and tight. Yep. So you don't it's, have any strays. Exactly. <laughs> now here's the secret. So you're gonna wanna hold on to this shape so it doesn't mm -hmm. unwind. So use your middle finger and your thumb to keep that coil shape. Okay. And we're gonna submerse it into hot, soapy water. Oh. Okay. Now, is there a specific reason why it should be warm instead of cold water? Just helps the shrinkage. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not supposed to wash my merino wool <laughs> yes, sweaters. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what we're doing. We're shrinking wool. Because it shrinks wool. in water. So I just put a little bit of soap on the surface, and okay. you're going to smooth that over the first, uh, the surface of the wool. So you're just adding soap? Yep. Is that just regular dish soap? Regular dish soap. Okay. This is more fun than doing dishes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more fun than doing dishes. So we're just smoothing, okay. and um, you're just wanting to lock in the surface fibers so that your middle doesn't come undone. And how long approximately do you keep working that? About one to two minutes. One to two minutes? So okay. after one to two minutes, you can um, switch to rolling the shape in between your palms. Oh. And you want to make sure to keep your hands wet mm -hmm. and enough soap so you put the soap in your palms now? Honest when oh, I do, okay. yes, because too much soap can be a bad thing. So it's, yeah. it's practice makes perfect yes. when rolling felt balls. So you'll feel that the ball is, starts out being squishy, mm -hmm. but then as you keep agitating, it'll it actually shrink smaller, right yeah. before your eyes. So then you end up with this? Yes, you end up with this. And once, you just stop when you've reached the desire, your desired size mm -hmm. and when it's pretty solid and, and tight. And now do you let it dry? You, let, you rinse it in cold water and mm -hmm. you let it dry. Okay, and probably shouldn't take too long to dry. No, and you can even throw them in a hosiery bag and put them in the dryer. Oh, that's a good to idea To speed too. it up, because, yeah. you know. Now Look for how the, cute they are. Yeah, <laughs> now for the exciting part. So um, there's lots of ways to um, embellish the surface of mm -hmm. felt beads, but I, today I'm going to show you how to use seed beads. Okay. So I just anchored the um, thread. And, in. and what size, what gauge are you using? About a 49? Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. So it's just like sewing now. It's just like sewing, and you're just going to string on one bead and poke the needle through where you want the next bead. Oh. And, and I just use one spot to the next. Right. I just use a good strong sewing thread. Mm -hmm. So I've brought some finished examples of the felted beads, mm -hmm. and now it's time to string them. And I use a 49 strand. A oh, 49 strand for here, and right. that was just sewing thread. Right. Gotcha. 
Yep. So <laughs> <laughs> now, we're, now we're with it. Um, so I've already secured the clasp in place with mm -hmm. the crimp bead, and I've put on a spacer bead. Okay. So at the end of the wire, you want to make a kink. Uh, so your needle has a place to sit in, right. and you'll it notice a nice opening on the needle too, and it's sturdy. Yes, I've, I'm using a large industrial size needle mm -hmm. because the felt is really dense, and you want something strong going through. Yeah, it. you're definitely using a little muscle pushing yeah, it through. <laughs> exactly. So, so I, you're just twisting it really to get it all the way through to e the end. Exactly, and I'm mm -hmm. pushing it all mm -hmm. the way through, and then just pull it, and you'll notice like. I'm having a little bit of difficulty pulling that through. You can also use some pliers at this point, but point the needle down so you don't hurt yourself. Right. Oh yeah, and then you just pull it right through. Very simple. And so it now it becomes basic stringing. So you have your beads, whatever you wanted, your accent mm -hmm. pieces in between, and then you keep pulling that along. Yep, and it's, it's, the ideas are limitless. Right, you can attach your clasp just as you would any other necklace. The important part of this is how you make your beautiful felt beads. Exactly. Now you brought along some finished pieces just so we can show the different mediums that you can use it on. I love the one that utilizes the pearl with the different beads also. Thank you. That's perfect. And bracelets and... All kinds of things. Yeah, this is all just um, strung onto mm -hmm. the beading wire. And then I've attached chain in the back for good. an adjustable necklace. Thank you, Candy. That looks like fun. Oh, that looks like a good project me. to do with your kids too. It's that very fun, fun, especially in summer. Exactly.